In today's video, I'm going to teach you a very stunning strategy so you can make up for all the losses you might have had experienced in your previous trades. So without further ado, let's get to the explanation of the strategy. For explanation, I'll use Pan USD chart, but keep in mind that you can use this strategy in other charts and markets like crypto and stocks as well. And I will also choose the 5 minute time frame. You can use this strategy to trade in other time frames as well. Okay, let's apply the first indicator. I open the indicators tab and type dots in the search bar. I add dots indicator made by Intramodo to my chart. With adding this indicator, some dots below the candlesticks and also some dots above the candlesticks will be shown to us. These dots are actually our trading signals. But these signals aren't precise and we need to optimize this indicator. In order to do that, we open dots indicator settings and in the style tab, we disable all the options except second OS dot and second OB dot. Then we open the inputs tab and change the second OS level to 13. We set second OB level to 80 and change the slow period to 70. For entering a buy trade, a green dot needs to appear under a candlestick and then, for confirmation of buy trade entry, we need to wait till two bullish candlesticks are formed. This is the candlestick number one, our first bullish candlestick. And this is the second bullish candlestick. After two bullish candlesticks are formed, we can enter the buy trade. For sell trades, we just need a red dot to appear above the candlesticks. This dot that you can see here. Next, for sell trade entry confirmation, we need to wait for two bearish candlesticks to form after the sell signal, so that we would be able to enter the sell trade here using this signal. But trading with a single indicator alone is not a proper strategy. So we need to add another indicator to get further confirmation for entering the trades and have more accurate trade entries. In order to do that, I open the indicators tab and type RSI plus backlight in the search bar and add RSI plus backlight overbought oversold to my chart. This is how RSI plus backlight indicator looks. We open the indicator settings. In the inputs tab, there is no need for any option to be changed. But let's get back to style section. In the style tab and under the RSI option, I change color 0 to black and turn up the opacity to 100% so that it is more visible and I also make the line a little bolder to further assist the visibility. Now we can close these settings. For entering a buy trade after receiving the first signal and seeing the two following bullish candlesticks for confirmation, we just need to check RSI plus backlight indicator in the area in which the signal has been given to see if RSI was in the oversold area or not. RSI being in the oversold area, which is this green area under the level 30 here that when I draw a vertical line here, you can see that it is true here and RSI was in the oversold area. This shows that our buy signal is confirmed and this signal is valid. We could have entered a buy trade after the two bullish candlesticks using this signal. For sell trade entry after the initial sell signal is given and the two bearish candlesticks form subsequently, we need to check and see if RSI indicator is in the overbought area or not, which is this red area above level 70 on the RSI oscillator. As you can see, in this signal RSI was on the overbought area, so the signal is confirmed and we could have entered the short trade using this signal after the two bearish candlesticks. We're currently in the Bitcoin chart with the 1 minute time frame. Now, I want to mention a really important point about this strategy. Listen, 
The point is that whenever a cell signal is given, for example, these cell signals shown here, if they have a special condition, some of these signals can give much bigger profits. We find out about that condition by checking out the RSI indicator. If the RSI's line stays above the level 7E or in the overbought area for a longer period, the signal can give us more profit. But the shorter the period the RSI line stays above the overbought area is, the signal can give us lesser profit. For example, if we were to enter a trade using this signal here, the profit we could have gained was 3.6% with using the leverage of 10. But in the next example, see, our signal has been given here and two bearish candlesticks have been formed afterwards and checking the RSI, we can see that it has stayed in the above level 70 zone or overbought area for a longer period. So this signal has the potential to give us a bigger profit. If we were to enter the trade on this signal, we could have made around 19% profit from this trade using the leverage of 10. As I mentioned before, you can use this strategy in all markets and trade with its help. For example, we are currently on the Dogecoin chart with the one hour time frame. We can see a sell signal here that is confirmed and I enter a short trade using it. I could have made 20% profit from this trade in the spot mode. If I were to use the leverage of 10 in this trade, my profit from this trade alone in the one hour time frame could have been 200% which is truly amazing for a trading strategy. Or for another example, we're currently on Tesla chart with the 4 hour time frame. We got a sell signal here which has been confirmed by the following two bearish candlesticks. And also, the RSI indicator was in the overbought zone and we could have entered a trade with this signal. If I were to enter the trade on this point, I could have made 32% profit from this trade in the spot mode. If I was using the leverage of 10, my profit would have turned into 320% from a single trade alone. But to make this strategy even more precise, I will add a third indicator to our trading setup. So I open the indicators tab again and search a stochastic histogram and add this stochastic histogram indicator to my chart, this indicator that you see here. I open a stochastic histogram indicator settings in order to optimize it. In the inputs tab, I change length to 5, next I change a smooth K to 2. Then I open the style tab and set the color 0 options opacity to 100% and I also make it bolder. I set the color 1 options opacity to 100% as well and make it bolder too. The settings are done. Now that we added a stochastic histogram to our trading setup, for entering a sell trade we need a sell signal from dots indicator. Next, this signal has to get confirmed by two bearish candlesticks. The confirmation has been given here by these two bearish candlesticks. Then for the next confirmation, the RSI line must be above the level 7E or in the overbought area. And here, when the signal was given, RSI was above the level 70. So, the signal gets this confirmation. For the third confirmation, we need to wait for the histogram of the stochastic histogram indicator to turn red and go under the level 0. Here, on this candlestick histogram of the stochastic histogram indicator has turned red and it has gone under the level 0. So, our signal gets all the confirmations here. But for entering the trade, we open the position at the closing of the candlestick on which our signal has got confirmed. We set the stop loss above this red dot of sell signal here. For take profit, we set the target on a 2 risk reward ratio like this. And we get out of the trade at the 2 risk reward ratio. But for long trade entry, we have to wait for DOTS indicator to give us a buy signal, which has been given here and it has been confirmed by two bullish candlesticks. RSI is also in the oversold area or below the level 30, which gives us the second confirmation. Next, we gotta wait for the histogram of the stochastic histogram indicator to turn green that has turned here. 
If I draw a vertical line here, you can see that exactly here, the indicator's histogram has turned green and has passed above the level zero. This means that on this candlestick, the signal gets all the confirmation and I can enter a long trade on this candlestick's closing. I set my stop loss under this green dot and for taking profit, I set my target with a risk reward ratio of two. I could have exited this trade with a 1 second risk reward ratio and make profit. If you want to know about better strategies with higher win rates, I suggest you make sure to watch the next video. Take care and goodbye.